Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome back to more Batman Arkham Knight, where I have decided, let's go see, let's go say hello to the uh, Mad Hatter. Batman, that crazy son of a bitch Jervis Tetch just walked into the precinct and handed himself in. He says he's taking hostages, wants to talk to you. I'm on my way. Don't let anyone speak to him until I get there. Wee. How long will you struggle, Batman? How long will you try to force order on a city whose natural state is chaos and despair? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Ooh, wait a second, what's going on here? Oh, I, I forgot about that. What? Oh, I see. So much for an easy op. The city was supposed to be covered in gas by now. I don't care what you think. Scarecrow's a freak, man. What's the matter? Getting all squeamish about operating on American soil? Scared you might have to fight the bat? Or just scared of Scarecrow? I'm a quite dismal failure. Now a good workman never blames his tools, Dark Knight. But since you built that ramshackle bat wagon, no, no, no doubt it is underperforming. No it's underperforming. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. That was my fault. Uh, honestly, I, sh that, I I thought it was just going to be like, here, have a qu really quick, have a really quick uh, thingamajiggy. <laughs> uh, we're still on... Yeah. Mad Hatter's handed himself in to GCPD. Why? I suppose a crisis of conscience is too much to hope for, sir. Hello? Man, I swear the ground shakes when that thing comes down the ramp. One of the ace workers saw it in action. Said he ain't never seen a car do anything like that before. Always looking for names to besmirch. Where does this new man conduct his research? Oh, hello. Over there, got it. <laughs> it's not working out the way you planned. I told you, I never faced anything like this. Ah, that's so cool. He's looking better, don't you think? He stopped screaming at least. Hey, Owens, you okay? Come on, buddy, say something. That's so nice. I like that. Interview room. I assume this is where we find. October nineteenth. Going back over some old interviews I did on Gotham's homeless. Numbers were dropping. No one knew why. I think there might have been a link to Blackfire. 
My name's Terry Noonan. I worked the sewers best part of 20 years. I'll read that uh, when we reach the end of the video. A souvenir from a previous life I hold with a hand when a hook will suffice. I'm assuming this has something to do with cash here. Ah, oh, there he is. We'll read that one too as later. Maximum security, West Wing. Hello, officer. Good thing you're here, Batman. Cash was ready to tear him a new rabbit hole. Oh, fragile day, Kalu Kale, the Batman's here. <laughs> it's time to play. I'm not playing your twisted games, Jervis. The hostages, where are they? Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, one, two, three. A hat trick of your boys in blue. Do they live or die? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> what have you done with them? Oh, such violent means. But all in vain. I've trained my mind to feel no pain. Don't make me put that to the test. Oh, Batman! Allay your fears. Prick up your ears. You'll soon hear their tears. Just listen for the siren song. Yes, you'll find your Alice before too long. Listen for the siren song near the missing police officer's last known locations. Okay. So it's a, it's a hairy thing. Got it. Evidence! Yes. You know, to make it easier to uh, put them away for their crimes. Oh, am I in the wrong room? I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to come in here. That's right. I I came I came from this direction. All right. So, kind of like uh, this one right here. Just listen. I gotta keep my ear out. Communications. Got it. <gasps> oh, fire! <sighs> That's so nice. We can see these guys. It's so nice. It's 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 a really nice thing to see the progress you have made. Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's head on in. Yes, I know. Think of all the things I must have. I'm just with you. He's right there. Can't you see him? Can't hide in here all night. This nightmare isn't gonna end for you ever. Threats eliminated. Wait a second. You... Thou... <laughs> Is that always going to be a thing? Get... 
Is that a piano? Oh, th there it is! Can I look away? Oh! I see you! Talking. I'll tell you when to stop. You want to know about Riddler? Uh, I know a lot about Riddler. Much obliged. Thank you. All right. Let's head somewhere up high. And now we have some stories to read. Actually, the cop? Ah. Oh. We'll read just, just Jack. Jack Ryder's weekly column, only in the Herald. Hey there, Gotham. Jack's back. I know, I know, it's been a while, but I've been busy. Book deals, TV appearances, negotiations to syndicate this very column. Those things take time, Jack fans. Too much time, actually. And the agents never call you back. So I decided to give up on them. Besides, I already have a starring... I already had a starring... I already had a starring a role. Did somebody not proofread? Besides, I already had a starring role in the televisual event of the season. Yep, that was my handsome face you just you saw spouting from an immaculately tailored suit and giving evidence to the Arkham City Commission. And I just want to set the record straight. Yes, I said that Arkham City was illegal. <coughs> I, yes, I produced a documentary evidence of prisoners being abused, degraded, forced to live in squalor, and nearly killed. And yes, I said that anyone exposed to such horrors should be released and genuinely compensated. But let's get one thing straight, Gotham. I was talking about me. I didn't need to see that crap. I shouldn't have even been there. I saw one guy eating his own arm when food supplies ran low. His own arm! I mean, he didn't look like he was accustomed to the hot cuisine on the other side of the wall. But me, I done well, Gotham, and I needed therapy after. So all you losers sending me hate mail, stop it. It's not my fault all the crooks got free. I just wanted Gotham City to repay its debt to me, and I'm sure you do too. Hashtag justice for Jack Ryder. Hashtag Jack Rydergate. What in the tarnation, man? Poison chalice. Cash lifted the photo, the framed photo out of the box and placed it on the desk. He still remembered the day he pinned it to the inside of his locker during his first shift at the asylum. It had been with him ever since. Nice looking family you got there, sir, the sergeant remarked, busily clearing out the previous owner's possessions from a drawer. Cash was close to telling him it was a lucky charm, but he knew the reaction he'd get. The kid didn't know how crazy things could get. He'd soon end up as superstitious as all the rest. Besides, something was telling Cash luck might not be worth a damn around here. He would be the fifth station supervisor in as many months. The others were all gone, assassinated. Cash knew he was putting himself in the crosshairs, tempting fate. But the commissioner had asked, and he couldn't refuse a friend. The sergeant finished packing the dead man's things just as Gordon arrived. Aaron, Jim said, offering his hand. Didn't think I'd see you tonight, Cash replied, shaking the commissioner's hand. Gordon always came down for this part. It was the introduction. Both men stepped out of the elevator onto the roof. The bat signal illuminated the night sky. You know, Cash said, we have, already, we have met already. I know, Gordon said, but it's tradition. Just another word for superstition, Cash thought. All right. Alright, and with that, I shall leave it here, so thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.